This is Josh Criswell with Champs So Live here at Mike Sports and More, Yorktown Mall in Chicago. Right behind me, Frank Thomas is about to start signing autographs for thousands of Sox fans. Let's take a look at some of today's footage. All right, so I'm here with two lifelong Chicago sports fans, but two very different ones. We have the traditional crosstown rivalry between the Sox and the Cubs. You right here, you're a Sox fan, lifelong Frank Thomas uh, homer, and you are a Chicago Cubs fan, I believe. And uh, why don't you tell me a little bit about that? What's it like with that rivalry inside the household? It's actually not that bad. I still root for the Cubs as long as they're not playing the Sox. Um, so... It, it doesn't really get into huge fights because clearly the Cubs and the Sox lately have not been playing the greatest. Right. You just got to pull for whichever team can do it well at this point. And uh, do you feel the same way? Yeah, actually, my first uh, Major League Baseball game was to the old uh, Comiskey Park. So I wanted to get there before I tore it down, and then I went directly after that. So. Well, that must have been a great experience getting to experience that place in its last moments. Now, you said that earlier that Frank Thomas is your favorite player. How excited are you to be here? Obviously, you're pumped. You're here an hour before the signing begins. So why don't you just tell me a little bit about your emotions right now? I actually woke up at like 7 o'clock this morning really excited. And I posted on Facebook that I got to meet him. And <laughs> I was like doing a happy dance the whole entire time. Yeah, I'm really excited. <laughs> so today is definitely a good day for you. Yeah. <laughs> and what about you? I know you're a Cubs fan, but are you still excited to meet the Big Hurt? Oh, definitely. It's always great to meet a star athlete. He's a great guy. Yeah, absolutely. And he's just been great for the Chicago community. Now, thanks for joining us today and enjoy your event. All right, have a good day. So I just had a moment here with the owner and VP of Mike Sports and More, who's housing today's uh, Frank Thomas autograph signing. What would you guys like to say about the event? Are you guys pretty pumped? Yeah, we're, we have a lot of signings here. This is our first White Sox player we've ever had here, so we're excited about that. Yes. And uh, what about you? What are your feelings about bringing the big herd in fresh off his uh, Hall of Fame induction? Well, to tell you the truth, I am a South Sider myself, so I'm South Side. He's North Side, so <laughs> for me, it's a little bit more exciting. Uh, to see a Sox player finally get into sports and more. So okay, yep. well, so I take it that being North Sider, are you a Cubs guy or are well, you a I'm Sox? On the south side, but I'm oh, yeah, yeah, I got you, I got yeah. you. So you have that in-store rivalry going on, but oh. I'm sure it's always friendly. Oh uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> anyway, but thank you so much for having us today. Is there anything else you'd like? Any more upcoming events that your store's having? Uh, we're gonna have Eddie Bell for in early April. I think it's the fourth. We haven't really nailed down the date yet. All right, well, we'll be sure to see you out here for that, and thanks for joining us today on Champs Alive. All right. Thank you. So I'm here with a gentleman that brought his family out here to get some Frank Thomas signings and meet the Big Hurt today. Why don't you tell us about your favorite Frank Thomas moment? Oh boy, there's there's a ton of them. Um, probably my favorite moment of all though was uh, 
at the, at the celebration parade with Big Frank hosting the World Series trophy. Um, well deserved, um, an amazing moment for us Chicago fans and, uh, and a, an amazing moment for me. So just seeing him be a winner like that was my favorite moment. Yeah, it was really a good send off for a Chicago legend. And uh, I see you brought your family out to the event today. Yeah, and uh, what does it mean to be able to bring your kids out and kind of let them get to meet someone that you grew up loving and just watching him play as one of your favorite players? What's that like? Oh, uh, it means a lot to me. Um, my girls have been born and raised White Sox fans. Um, so to them, you know, also meeting my heroes growing up playing baseball has been really cool. They've met Frank. This is their second time meeting Big Frank. So they, they've met Harold Baines. They've met Minnie Minoso um, in a handful of different White Sox grades. So having them with me throughout all this stuff is just, it's just amazing. Yeah, well, we hope to see you out at some of our other events. Enjoy your day. Yeah, thank you very much. All right. Have a good and we're here with another White Sox fan. What did it mean to you to come out today and meet such a huge uh, Chicago hero in Frank Thomas? It was awesome. I've been a fan of his for 30 years. And He's just the essence of Chicago and a true, true star uh, to everyone in and around Chicago. Do you have one specific Frank Thomas memory that stands out to you the most? You know what? It, as crazy as it is, him just standing there um, after the White Sox victory parade, even though he didn't get to play in the World Series, obviously, just him getting to hold the trophy and stand there was just a sight for sore eyes. And just he definitely deserved it. Yeah, it seems like for all Sox fans, that seems like that's the moment that stands out to them, just coming back home and giving him the recognition he deserves. Now, I see you have this wonderful piece that you have signed by multiple uh, players. Why don't you tell me a little bit about that? It's an all-Chicago piece. Um, my name is Jason, and I run a Chicago history site on Twitter, Chicago underscore history, um, and on Facebook. And this is sort of my tribute to it, um, all-Chicago athletes and anything that anyone that's ever had anything to do with Chicago I'm getting this piece signed it's uh, from 1985 just a, a shot of the city which shows like Soldier Field Old Meg's Field and so yeah so got a lot of good names on here but Frank was definitely one of the best one of the tops on the list he's right here at top now. that's a beautiful piece and I, I'm glad that you're going to be able to add to it in the future now thanks for joining us on CS Live and have a great day you too. thank you Now I'm here with this wonderful family that just got their autograph signed by Frank Thomas at the event right before it closed. Now, why don't you tell us a little bit about what it was like to come out here, bring your family to see such a Chicago hero like Frank? Um, it was awesome. Frank's a great Hall of Fame player. We really enjoyed it. Um, I understand that you've been a big Sox fan for a long time. Do you have a favorite big hurt moment? Well, I really, the, the, the time he hit his 500 home run, that's amazing. And then I really also enjoyed, uh, I met him when he had been in the league for two years over at uh, in Rosemont Horizon. It's just a fantastic person. Yeah, I can imagine after seeing him today, he just seems like a genuinely great guy. Now, thank you so much for joining us today on CS Live, and I hope to see you again soon. Thank you. Thank you. I guess you got some grooves in there, just like a bat. Thanks. Got it? You're right. It's pretty cool. Check the bag out real quick. And make sure now this young man I saw right here, I saw that you made this handcrafted piece of work, this Frank Thomas masterpiece. Why don't you tell me a little bit about what you did with this one and what this means to you to be able to get Big Frank to sign it for you today? Well, I've been a White Sox fan my whole life. Um, I grew up on the south side, and my high school used to have opening day walkathons to Comiskey Park, so I've been a fan my whole life, and Big Frank, you know, who doesn't love Big Frank? So this piece is made out of poplar, 
Um, I wood burned it. I burned it with a soldering iron. So basically, I draw the image on there, and then I burn it with a soldering iron. I would, I would guess it took me about 40 hours to make it. And then on the back, it has some key stats like his Hall of Fame uh, induction, how many hits, number of home runs, and such. That's a really impressive piece of work. Really a true testament to the dedication of a Frank Thomas fan that you are. Thank you. I appreciate it, and I, I, I'm glad he liked it. There we go. Turn around. There we go. It's okay. Thanks. 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 Thanks.